Hi Morgan, how you doing? Well, interesting topic to the offended. Uh, well, the problem is, is that uh, uh, obvious uh, is one of those uh, subjective things that are kind of like beauty or in the eye of the beholder. Uh, case in point is that I grew up in an immigrant community, uh, primarily Greeks and Syrians, and on a weekly basis on Sunday after church, you go over to people's houses to have uh, uh, sort of like a festival together. So it's, well, it's more like uh, imagine Christmas dinner once, a, Christmas dinner, Christmas meal, Christmas meal once a week, and that gives you an idea of what the uh, the um, the uh, Syrian and Greek uh, Sundays are like. And more often than not, the men get around the table, uh, and it's still pretty much a segmented uh, thing. It's partially by choice and partially by uh, uh, by tradition as well. So the men are around the table, and more often than not, women don't really want to be around there because uh, men being men are typically competitive, and when they start arguing, uh, the arguments get pretty heated. Uh, and... You would think, if you were watching this from an outside observer, if, if you're a kid and watching this, this is the normal thing for you because you see this every Sunday. And, but if you're uh, not a, a, a part, of the, uh, part of the community, if you're watching, if, let's say you are invited a friend over or they have somebody who's visiting who's not particularly uh, of that cultural background. And the first thing that kind of pops into mind is a shock at the, at, at the level of, uh, of what they see as anger and uh, what we call as typically a Greek or a Middle Eastern discussion most uh, um, uh, Westerners would consider to be either rude or uh, 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 highly confrontational. But what happens is you'll see if you around long enough, you see that week after week, the same people who seem to be confrontational will get together week after week at each other's houses. They're more often not um, related to one another, either aunt, uncle, and even through, see, uh, when you marry someone in an ethnic background, not only do you marry the uh, wife or the, uh, you know, the man or the woman, but you marry the entire family. So marriage is... Uh, an entire family affair in um, many of these uh, older cultural communities and there is no hard feelings they they don't they they argue as hard as they do but there's no hard feelings at the end of it the uh, even if the <laughs> attacks do get personal um, at the, they somehow are able to put it aside and brush it off and then next week they're back at it again and so what happens is that, yeah, sometimes a argument can seem to be that just that an argument, not simply academic. And when you see people on the on YouTube, you don't forget you've got people from coming from a lot of different backgrounds on YouTube. It's not just one culture uh, that YouTube represents. YouTube's rep, rep, YouTube right now represents a lot of different cultures. And so what seems offensive to you and offending to someone else, it may not be offensive and off-putting to, to another person. It just how it, it is what you're used to. And it's not your fault that, that, that that's, that's what it is. It just, that's what, you, it, it, it's what you're used to. And, you know, that's what you've grown up with. But if you grew up in a community like I did, then uh, you'll see these arguments are no real big deal. Uh, but I've actually found myself that in many cases to really do well at an argument to uh, sort of provide a better understanding and actually get something done with your arguments that you really do have to control your anger and the more anger you get the more angry you get that the less often the less you start thinking and your arguments start to become more uh, incomprehensible so from my perspective it's always better to be a cooler head or, or a calmer head because calmer heads do prevail and think your way out of a particular issue rather than simply yell your way out of the, out of a particular issue and so this is my, this is my, my take on that background but don't forget here and this is a, something else as well uh, that you should think about is that many writers and uh, particularly political, political writers who write 
uh, not only the satire, but uh, other political writings. Their entire job, and this isn't true in journalism, is to be provocative, to be offensive. And so when they write, their entire goal is to get you angry. That's why they're right. They want to make you feel something. And more often than not, they're going to try to offend you. They're going to try to push your buttons. They're going to try to make you feel the way you would not normally feel if you were reading something that was more entertaining. And, but the thing is, that's a personal, you know, if you don't want to read that type of stuff, put it down. But if you do want to read it and figure out how to argue back, that's your prerogative too. You, you can do that as well. It just really depends on what your personal choices are and what you feel comfortable with. And the thing is, sometimes let's say you don't feel comfortable with it and you want to get into that, you have to learn how to become comfortable with it. How to deal with your own emotions as you get into these, what we'll call attacking environments. Anyways, it was nice talking to you again. I hope to see you around. I'll probably see you around YouTube more. All right, bye bye.